All right, guys, what's going on? This is the review for Custom Firmware 6.60 ME 1.3. This is your buddy Rob talking to you live. So uh, as you can see, there's the firmware right there. And uh, basically just going to review this. So uh, nothing has changed in these settings. You have extras, your photo, your music like usual, video, your game and everything like that. Wonderful shit, blah, 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 blah. PlayStation Network is accountable for. So the PlayStation Network does run. So basically all we're going to do is look at the VSH menu. <laughs> there it is. So CPU clock, 333 by 166. And I believe that this is the new CPU usage. Oh, never mind. It's not there. Okay, anyways. Um, USB device, you can transfer that. The ISO mode is the ME driver, which is lovely. ISO video mount, none which is basically recording your gameplay from your PSP. XMB plugins, you can enable them here along with the game and pops plugins. Plugins manager, which is a fairly nice thing, which I do enjoy, which is really nice actually. So there you go. Um, I haven't used this in a while. I'm going to enable that. Well, I have to reset the device for that. But anyways, Plugins manager. Oh, don't need that. Alright, anyways. Uh so yeah, there's the plugins displayed just for you. So when you can enter the recovery menu, shut down the device, reset the device, reset VSH, and exit. So let's see if this actually works this time. Nope, oh, obviously not. I wish I could show you this recovery menu because it actually looks pretty cool. But the recovery menu is pretty much the same as the Pro B9 firmware. So if you want to find out what the recovery menu looks like, check that out. It'll be there. And uh, also be sure to make sure your speed up memory stick access is set to always underneath configuration because that's the best way to go. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to go here and exit the recovery menu. There we are. So yeah, that's the quick review of this custom firmware right here bam 6.60 me 1.3 so uh, you can watch the tutorial on how to install this on the annotation that I have set up on the top top left hand corner of this screen and also be sure to check out my website and blogs, rate, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to leave your questions in the moderator, and if you have any questions about this video or reviewing this firmware, please do check the information below because it'll lead you to what you need to know. So yeah, take it easy guys, enjoy the firmware, and hopefully you choose to install it, so take it easy. And uh, one last thing. All the new games, ISO, CSO, it is ISO, CSO compatible. And I will be making a review video for the light custom firmware on a PSP Go soon. So stay tuned for that. Hooray, everybody's excited. So yeah, take it easy, and I will see you guys later.